Okay, so once you reboot it the last time, Damien Tools will tell you it's initializing the installation and it's set. Then from what I selected, the only thing I see here is this little red emblem of a lightning strike. And you see that says Damien Tools, light in the version number. So once you have Damien Tools installed, you want to put it to work. In this scenario, we're going to open up a disk image to use for DVD shrink. Okay? So you're going to go to Damien Tools and you're going to right click. And you're going to be presented with these menus. And we have future tutorials to show you what these are about. I can go through them shortly. Save this, secure ROM, laser lock. These are options to make sure that your emulation runs correctly. This over a little bit more. Right click again. Here you have safe this and all that. You see all these options here. These are um options when you have certain, especially with gaming, certain games you have to um tweak around with these options to make sure that your game run right. You have the options, you see secure mode, auto start and the icon tray check for updates, hotkeys, and so on. You have web resources. You can send feedback back to Damien Tools support forms. Of course, help, which every software should have, and then the exit button. But here you see virtual CD DVD ROM. Then it says device zero is empty. You see set number of drives. You can select up to four drives here. Right now we only have one, but let's say I was to select two drives. You see Damien 2 says please wait while it gets itself together. Then the next time I right click on Damien 2's emblem and I go to virtual CD drum you see it says device 0 and device 1. Okay so I actually have two extra CD-ROM drives. I'm only going to use one. I just want to let everyone know that you can have more than one drive basically with Damien tool so go to device zero and you're going to select mount image okay so once you select it with that what Damien tools does is it opens up a browse box in here it's already in my DVD for my favorite movies and we're just going to select one 300 movie 300 and then you get your regular options here is asking you what you want to do with this disk you just put in you just insert it inside of this drive okay so what we're going to do I'm just going to cancel out here like I said in this scenario we're going to open up DVD shrink well I actually give you two scenarios just to show that the movie is good what I do is I open up my computer and I'll play the movie it's just a CD image but what I do is I go here computer see the movie 300 it's, it looks like a regular disk drive it says DVD this is actually a Damien tools emulating I right click on that and I play with um the VLC media player as you can see here it plays the movie as if it was a regular disk and I'll show you that DVD Shrink also views Damien Tools as if it was a regular disc. As Windows does, period. It's not even up to the software level. This is way down to the OS, the operating system level. And it's considered a disc. Okay? Okay, so once you have DVD Shrink open, and are uh, you ready to shrink your disc? It says open disc here that's my regular CD drive I have a disc in there then you see 300 and you see also Damien Tools does is it picks the next drives in order as you see E here which I have 300 and then F which it says no disc and remember when I changed the parameters it was to have two disc drives okay so once you select on 300 and you select OK automatically DVD shrinks loads it up and you can play it here also and you see how it comes out in DVD shrink okay so
just to show you how Damien Tools is among the greatest software applications out there and there's so much you can do with it this is just a brief tutorial I have future tutorials depending on your requests and your responses please don't be shy let me know how you feel and don't forget to visit nfixitonline.com for more great tutorials you can also send a tutorial request at nfixitonline.com slash tutorial request hope this tutorial is informative for you see you on the next one thank you